Good afternoon, America. Live from sun and fun. Northern New England, coastal southern Maine, South Portland, Maine. Yep, on the working waterfront. Yep, right off the Portland Street Pier in South Portland, Maine. This is a freelance video. I am out here in the public domain sharing my comments and views with you and it is spectacular to get out and about on this June 26th Wild Wednesday yeah just in the uh, afternoon here about 2 30 spectacular main weather about 75 degrees a little bit of a breeze nothing to be overly concerned about yeah I want to give you a little bit of rundown before we get started on the video today and the uh, topic of discussion. I'm not affiliated with any business or enterprise that you may see in the video today. I'm out here in the public domain sharing my comments and views with you. And if I strike a chord with you, go right ahead and send me a comment. Thank you very much. Please remember to keep it upbeat and clean as I am out here in the the public domain. Also, this is a WYSIWYG, and that is what you see is what you get right here at the Portland Street Working Waterfront Pier. Yeah. Uh, let's do a little bit of a weather. <laughs> Today, obviously, what a gorgeous day to get out and about right here in vacation land. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, another spectacular day. Oh, maybe uh, some humidity. Friday, hot and humid temperatures could reach the mid 80s so you might want to try to stay cool if you're getting out and about no better place than right here next to the coast as far as i'm concerned but there is always something to do in northern new england coastal southern maine that's right you can go inland yeah find a lake a pond <laughs> a stream some shade whatever it takes it's all good now, Friday and then Saturday we're looking at uh, perhaps a mixed bag uh, but go ahead and check your weather facts as I do and look into some weather projections it's very simple you just go to the National Weather Service yeah, find a dialogue box and type in your zip code and you can take it from there remember always check your own facts and do your own research these are just my comments and views and uh, once again it is really great to get out and about with you today so what is the topic today it is the debates that are going to be taking place tonight and tomorrow night yeah over 20 democrat career politicians want to be the next president of the United States. So what do you think you might hear when you watch these candidates for the next two days? Uh, what do you think they might tell you in order to replace Donald J. Trump? Here's what I think one of them might be considering, whether they say it or not, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> but I was giving this some thought. So perhaps in the six or seven minutes that is allotted uh, for each candidate, one of them might open up. You know, one of these failed leaders pretending to be wise. If they're running out as a Democrat, I'm sure uh, they have nothing really good to say but what if one of them came out and said I want to congratulate Donald J Trump his administration and all those who serve the United States of America for keeping this economy afloat for providing substantial records as far as unemployment is concerned the economy our military is stronger, our veterans are doing better, 
and America is alive and doing well. And on the world stage, we are considered a very powerful and proud people. So this candidate might go on and say, I just want to congratulate all those Americans who voted for Donald Trump and here is what I'm going to do better than him. We're not going to hear that, are we? <laughs> I'm not going to watch the debate. So if, the, if somebody does come out, you know, talking like that or making a grand speech, uh, let me know, would you? Um, I've already decided who I'm voting for and I'm not going to change my vote. So they could have 50 Democrats on stage and they could give them all a minute each as far as I'm concerned. Is there going to be one, just one, Democrat, a failed leader pretending to be wise, come out and congratulate all those who serve Northern New England, coastal Southern Maine, the United States of America, our military? Are they going to congratulate our veterans? We'll have to wait and see, or you'll have to wait and see, because I'm not watching. This is Frank Margell at the Portland Street Pier in South Portland, Maine. Getting a little political with you today. Yeah, next to the harbor. Yeah, can't get there from here unless you take uh, Route 1 to Broadway and, and you're going to have to come down some side streets. Yeah, park your car at the uh, end of Portland Street and come right down here to the pier and get all political on the Work and waterfront, yeah. You have a great main day, Wednesday, June 26th. This is Frank Margell, and I want to thank all those who serve Northern New England, coastal Southern Maine, the United States of America, our veterans. You all know who you are. Yeah. Let's see if there is one failed leader pretending to be wise, a Democrat that thinks in their mind and voices their views that they can do a better job than Donald J. Trump. Yeah. I'll keep you posted. Please remember to keep the comments upbeat and clean as I am out here in the public domain. I do respond in kind. I want to thank you very much. You have a great main day. This is Frank out.